Okay, so this is going to be a quick video on how to properly uh, secure your antennas that for those of you guys that have the larva X with the crossfire receiver. And this is what it looks like. There's a little zip tie here that I already removed that's holding the antenna in the back here. And it's just in the box, it's just like this, loose. And you're going to need to secure this because eventually it will get caught up in the propellers and uh, most likely the antenna will get uh, chopped up, but it could get caught in the motors and then you could crash. You should not just leave it like this. So first off, um, remove that zip tie that's here it's holding on. And what I would suggest is move it over to this other arm on this side on the bottom. And we're going to use a couple of zip ties here. So two zip ties, and you need some two zip, two zip ties and a couple things of heat shrink. These are about four inches here. And we're going to put some zip ties on, the, on this little piece here and this little piece here, like so, and then put the heat shrink over the zip tie, and that should hold it on the arm like this. Okay, so this is how I've got my two zip ties on, like this, and uh, it should be okay in terms of keeping it away from the props. Plus, you're going to want to put the wires on the bottom side here in case it does get caught up in the props. It should be okay, but the heat shrink along with the zip tie should keep it nice and pretty stiff. It should be it should be okay. Way way more secure than just letting it dangle freely. Okay, so this is what it looks like with the heat shrink on there like that. I'm going to just cut off these little excess ends there. Um, don't need that. And yeah, it's not the most ideal, uh, but I'm not sure where else would be a good spot to put the antenna because they're very long. And I think what I'm going to do also is I want to secure this as well so it doesn't get caught into anything. And probably I'm going to take this zip tie off and just put another one here and secure the wire as well. If I do that, I should hold it in place. So let me go ahead and put a new zip tie on here. Okay, so I went ahead and just replaced the zip tie and secured the this part of the wire here. So it should be really good, um, even in any, any type of a crash. should not get caught up into anything. Anyway, so obviously this is probably not the most optimal configuration for these antennas. Um, if you're going to go 50 kilometers, but I don't think the battery of this thing will go that far. So pretty sure this is going to be pretty good for any kind of range that this little guy is going to be able to go, you know, within about five minutes, so two and a half mile, uh, two and a half minutes out and two and a half minutes back. So should be plenty of range for this little guy, and and this will keep the antenna secure and safe from the props, you should be good to go. If you guys have any questions, let me know.